All keyboards are not the same. The most commonly used alternative keyboard now in DOS and Windows is the Dvorak layout with the most commonly used letters centered on the keyboard. When the first typewriters appeared in the 1870s, the sluggish action of the type bars jammed the keys up unmercifully. The answer was to design a key layout that made the machine work better by making the typist work harder, more slowly. We call it the QWERTY keyboard, because those are the first six letters of the keyboard. And it was, in fact, anti-engineered. The QWERTY keyboard was designed to slow people down because the old keys would jam together if people typed too fast. So they arranged, rearranged them so that people would type as slow as possible. If you've ever wondered what kind of paces you put your fingers through, consider this. The fingers of a competent QWERTY typist, working eight hours a day, travel an average of 37% farther during that day. This seriously troubled an early student of human ergonomics named August Dvorak. August Dvorak redesigned the layout of the keys to be more logical, language-based with all the vowels on the left hand of the home row and the mainly used consonants on the right hand so that that eliminated the finger travel and the mistypings that so many people were doing with the QWERTY keyboard. In the QWERTY keyboard, our hands spend only 32% of their time on the home row. On Dvorak's language-based keyboard, 70%. When we first heard of key time, we understood there were two key layouts from which we could learn. We chose the language base because we understood it was accurate, efficient, and the people that used language base were less fatigued at the end of the day. They spend a tremendous number of hours looking at a screen. With language base, they have less fatigue in their fingers, less fatigue on their wrists, and they go away typing happier and actually with greater speed. So every time you see those fingers flying over all those anti-engineered keys, you might just contemplate the keyboard of today, whose name is not QWERTY. It is Dvorak. I've been very supportive of the Dvorak language-based keyboard when I found out that you can type 20 to 100% faster with half the errors and learn it in less than half the time. It already exists in virtually all computers everywhere, or it can be easily added. Increased accuracy of 50% and more, plus record speeds up to 225 words per minute, are accomplished on the Dvorak keyboard. With only 32% of the frequently used keys on the home row, less than 100 words can be typed in QWERTY. Whereas with 70% on the Dvorak home row, close to 5,000 words can be typed without leaving the home row. Think of how easy that makes touch typing. With key time training, in 15 hours the average increase in speed is 30 words per minute. So, for people typing 60 words per minute on the standard keyboard, they can now increase quickly to 90 words per minute on the Dvorak keyboard. Dvorak single-handed layouts facilitate typing when only one hand is available. The keys are rearranged so typing motion is vertical instead of horizontal. The single-handed layout is also used by people using the mouse a lot. CPAs using the 10 key. Doctors and nurses recording patient information emergency personnel on the go, salespeople taking orders, and workers out in the field collecting data. And in today's Office of Diversified Employees, alternative layouts are an economical, reasonable accommodation for persons with disabilities. Retraining for injuries can put valuable employees back to work. Key Time was honored as the Small Business of the Year by the Resource Center for the Handicapped Technical Institute. If you want to get the most out of today's high-tech business tools, you must be able to touch time. For further information or to register for classes, call Key Time at 206-522-TYPE or fax us at 206-524-2238.